What's up, Blue Nation? Welcome back to a year in comics. I'm your host, Jonathan, and we have an exciting year for you this year, 1944. And why is it exciting year? Because in the great year of 1944, a man named Max Gabe started a little combo company known as EC Comics, Entertainment Comics, as it were, where they mainly made educational comic books for kids. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound really exciting. Why was I? Oh, that's right. Because a few years later, he'd have a tragic accident, and his son would take over the company. When he's in charge, when his son is in charge, he stops making the educational comic books, and he starts making uh, detective magazines, science fiction magazines, oh, and horror comic books, such as Vault of Horrors and, uh, oh, yeah, Tales from the Crypt. EC Comics, the company that gave us Tales from the Crypt got its start in 1944. Of course, by the end of the 50s, it got out of the combo game altogether and created Mad Magazine, which if you're a fan of uh, Mad TV, you're welcome. <laughs> These are the people who are responsible for that indirectly. So that alone makes it a really exciting year because, I mean, if you're a fan of horror, like movies, TV shows, any of that, you got to give it up to Tells of the Crypt. Like... That's some genre-defining stuff right there. And the HBO show was beyond amazing. And Demon Knight is one of the greatest movies ever made. We don't talk about the other movies. But Demon Knight, one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, over at Archie Comics, they changed their logo from the little shill to Archie's face. That's kind of cool. But uh, while we're talking about movies, skipping over Archie altogether, Marvel put out, or Timely was still known, put out their first movie. Well, kind of, sort of. It was a serial. It was 15 parts long, but it was Captain America. Their first time being on film, Captain America, 1944. It's pretty exciting for a little funny mag, you know? At least back then, nowadays, that's all that comes out, which I'm not complaining. I love it. <laughs> but um, Miss America, who we talked about last episode, also got her own comic book, her own uh, title this year. And in the second issue of that, a little-known character named Patsy Walker was first introduced. Now, if you're fans of the Netflix Marvel shows, you might know her as Hellcat. But yeah, see, uh, she predates most of Marvel. She came out in 1944, and she, she started in that book, and I think 45 is when she got her own. I think it's the next episode. She'll get her own title. And will go on to be like a big romance teen character in the 40s and 50s before uh, they brought her back as an Avenger years later. So it's exciting, you know, it's her first appearance, someone who literally is in the MCU, you know? But, um, we yeah, some pretty cool stuff happened in 1944. So, uh, till next year in comics, I'm Jonathan, give us legends.